Ollie, great result last weekend at King's Home against Exeter. How do you now go about backing that up at the stoop this uh, Saturday? Uh, well, we have a good training week, high intensity. Uh, take the good bits that we uh, that we applied against Exeter, and then hopefully sort out the bits that we we didn't do so well. So uh, it's pretty simple. And Johan said there were a few work ons. Has it been you know, stuff that's fairly easy to put right, or is it sort of you know the more complicated high end stuff? Um, I, I, I think the majority of it's just basics. It's the first first sort of Premiership game of the season, so we've got 21 to go. Uh, there's always going to be something that we have to work on, isn't there, at this stage? Um, and as there will be at every stage throughout the, throughout the season. So um, uh, the, the majority of it's just quite basic stuff. Um, I mean, I mean, obviously there'll be elements to our structure uh, that, that need that need enhancement and, and, and alteration, which uh, which we'll look at as well. But um, now the majority of it's pretty simple. And what's it been like in terms of just the shift of attitude, which I imagine for an outside back is fantastic because Gloucester seems to be playing with a bit more of a no fear approach. I think Richard Hibbard summed it up as, and that's probably got to be music to your ears, hasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, like, I mean, back three live off opportunities, and uh, I think I think we're going to create more opportunities this season. How do you rate the Harlequins back three? Um, I, I mean, they're, they're they're all very good players. A lot of uh, a lot of talent in there. I mean, obviously, Marlon Yard has has, has played for England quite a few times, and uh, um, Walker's one of the one of the speediest players in the in the Premiership. So. Uh, yeah, they've got they've got they've got a lot of uh, a lot of talent in there. Uh, obviously, we've had a look at their their clips, what they're good at, um, where their opportunities are, um, and, and 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 we'll pay them with respect, but we'll go in um, with a lot of belief that, that that we can do one on them. And is that the sort of challenge you relish? Because you know you've been you know, putting your name out there for a couple of years now in terms of what you can do in a Gloucester shirt, and you, know, you haven't shied away from anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I like I like a one-on-one -on -one battle with an opposite man. I do, I do like that. Um, and and getting getting one over him, and ultimately, if all 15 of the Gloucester players um, I outplay their opposite man, then we're going to beat Harlequins, aren't we? So, so um, it is something I relish, uh, as as I as I think everyone in the team does. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to to it. Um, I, don't know, I don't obviously. I don't know uh, who, who I'll be up against or um, what, what my, my role will be. Um, it's, a, it's a team effort, so uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, if I get the opportunity, that would be uh, very exciting. Yeah. Um, you talk about battles. Obviously, there's a battle for the shirt first. How pleasing yeah. was it to actually play the first game of the season? Because you get the first opportunity to lay down a marker. Uh, yeah, no, that, was, that was pretty cool, yeah. I, I, like, I mean, the Kingston crowd was uh, exemplary. Uh, on last Friday as well, so so that kind of added a bit of uh, um, added that was a sort of cherry on top of it as well. Um, so yeah, no, it was it was great, it was great, and, and hope, hopefully uh, hopefully I did enough to sort of uh, lay the foundations for 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 playing again. So uh, that's that's the plan. Of course, Mr. Sharple's working his way back to fitness. Yeah, uh, but I suppose for all the wingers at the club there's an opportunity because post Johnny May you will move up one in the pecking order yeah I mean that, that's true um, and, and and I mean obviously there is a battle for selection but, but we're all part of the same squad and I think that's the most important thing which I know it's something that Johan's really enforced is that regardless of who's playing that there'll be a reason they're playing it'll be a thought out thing uh, and, and, and everyone's sort of working together um, Sort of as a team to ensure that the person that is playing can do the best that they can do for the team, um, which is which is maybe a, a, which is a, which I think is a very healthy shift from potentially where we have been in the past. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at. Johan's instructions, how simple are they to to follow and sort of his thinking and his logic? Because it does, it does seem to have a very clear vision, which everyone's buying into. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think clarity is the is the word. I think there's, there's elements which are more complex and quite innovative uh, in terms of what he's doing. There's elements which are very uh, simplistic. So. So there's a sort of there's a there's a there's a nice combination, uh, uh, yeah, in terms of the complexity of what what he's what he's bringing, um, but his his communication, considering English isn't his first language as well, is is, is superb, yeah. In, in in relaying those in relaying those what he wants and what he wants from individuals, what he wants from us as a team.